So what we're announcing today are two new programs, uh, the Auditor Swift Assessment Program, uh, which is the ability uh, to go in uh, when there is an issue that comes up, and it has to meet certain criteria, and we have internal guidelines which we're happy to provide you uh, when this gets activated. But basically, if there's a credible allegation made uh, of major waste or abuse of public resources, uh, or an allegation that would cause people to lose confidence in the performance of their government officials, that might involve less money, but something really egregious like uh, uh, doing political work uh, on, on uh, state time or something like that, uh, we will evaluate the allegations made and determine if they're credible. Uh, and if they are credible, uh, we will move very rapidly uh, to have those things addressed. We will have Daryl Moore leading it. Daryl, as you all know, was the Greene County prosecutor. Uh, he has a lot of experience uh, in moving quickly and swiftly. That's one of the reasons why we hired him here. He will lead the effort, and we will have auditors from whatever uh, field office that's nearest to the problem uh, join him, and we will go in immediately when we hear a credible allegation. Uh, if we need to use subpoenas, we'll do it. Uh, the, the risk in situations like this where there's an allegation of embezzlement or fraud or, or, or tremendous mismanagement is that evidence will be destroyed, that people will start erasing emails or throwing away files or those types of things. And, and I think that probably has happened in the past because we have not been able to get records we wanted in connection with some audits in the past before I got here. We will go in there quickly. Daryl will basically lead a team to say we're coming the next day, send a letter and a subpoena saying to freeze all documents, uh, not to destroy anything, uh, and, uh, and then we will start the audit immediately. I mean literally like the next day. Uh, and that's something that we have not done before in this office, and that will prevent us from getting behind the curve. So my objective is to make this office move swifter and more efficiently than it's ever moved before. Too often, the state auditor goes into an organization, uh, finds serious problems, uh, failure to obtain pr uh, competitive bids, failure to segregate duties that might encourage embezzlement or serious misconduct, and we make a recommendation. Uh, the subject of the audit concurs to make changes. We come back two or four years later, depending on you know, what the entity is. Sometimes we don't come back till 10 years later, and absolutely nothing's been done about it. And I think some subjects of audit view, audit, view audits, view audits as something you just need to survive, get through it, take whatever licks you have to take in the media for the bad things they say, and then just move on. And people don't take the audit seriously. Well, that's not going to happen anymore. 